JLR investigates breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, everyone. A suspect has been arrested and charged with murder in connection with the uh, two elderly couple who went missing over the weekend, the Menards, Stephanie and Daniel Menard. Uh, police give a press conference. I'm going to share this press conference with you. This is uh, Michael Sparks, Michael Royce Sparks, 62 years old. He has been arrested. He has been taken into custody. And I'm going to share the press conference and then we will further discuss. Check it out. Back out on scene. Last night, um, there was significant damage that was done to the suspect's residence when we uh, broke in to search it. And the, we had to secure the scene overnight to make sure that it was safe for personnel to enter. So this morning, we're waiting for that uh, to be shored up so that we can begin a search. We have cadaver dogs that will be here from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department and we will be using those to try to locate the victims, Dan and Stephanie. We are confident that they are deceased and that they are still here on the property. And I'm available to take any questions. Has he given you any information on where to locate the bodies? Uh, I can't speak to anything that he said, but we are confident that the, the bodies are here on, on site. Has he been cooperative? Uh, he, let me say that he surrendered voluntarily. Um, I won't say he's been cooperative, but he did surrender voluntarily last night after uh, lengthy negotiations. When you say that he... On the, on the relationship between the couple and the neighbor? I can only say that he's he's their neighbor. I'm not going to speak to what their relationship when was. You when you say you're confident that the bodies are on the, pro or on the property, do you mean inside this home as well? His home? The we, be home? we believe the bodies are on the site of his home, yes. Yesterday morning, Redlands Police were on site simply conducting fur further investigation, uh, searching the area, knocking on the doors of neighbors. While we were here on site, we received information from a source that a person who was involved in their disappearance was here on the property. At that point, we locked down the property and we began the investigation and the attempt to locate and contact him. We did ultimately uh, go to his home. We tried several attempts to contact him with no contact whatsoever. And eventually we did bring in equipment from the Riverside Sheriff's Office called a TAC cat that we used to breach the home, make entrance, and then used uh, remote video to search the area. Um, last night at about 9.30, we did locate him and after some negotiation with him, he did surrender voluntarily. Was he here? Was he? Was he Any here idea to a motive? Why would he do this? I, I'm not going to speak to motive. He was here at, in his home. He was in the home? Yes. Are you able to confirm that? He was day? under the home. Let me, let me clarify that. He was under the home. On that note, um, someone who was a neighbor told us that he has some sort of tunnel underneath his home, and yesterday when SWAT responded, I saw their truck kind of fell inside. I can't comment on that other than to say that he was under the home when he was located. Friends of the couple say they were involved in some sort of lawsuit against the ranch. Do you know anything about that? Can you talk about that? I don't have any information on that. Does, does the uh, suspect have a prior record? I'm not, I'm not I'm sure. I don't know. Was the ranch on lockdown? I noticed a lot of cars coming through this morning. Were they able to return to their home? The residents that aren't in the immediate area of the suspect and the victim's home were still on site while we were doing the search last night and they've been able to remain on site. The area immediately surrounding his home was evacuated, but those residents are back now. And just to clarify, were all three of them members of the resort? Did they live within the premises of the resort? Or were they they, the, the victims and the suspect? Yes, they were all residents here. All residents of the resort? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how long they've been here. I, I believe it's been some time. What happens now in the investigation? Currently, we are um, trying to locate the victims. Um, at that point, 
you know, then we'll move on from there. But right now our concentration is on first making the structure safe so that uh, we can enter it and then um, using the cadaver dogs and our search team to locate the victims. I, as part of the investigation, I know that detectives did speak with family members of the couple. Are they local? I don't know that. We have information to make us believe that they're deceased. And is that the dog is where, like, was the dog recovered? Uh, we don't have any word on, on Cuddles, their dog. So yesterday when you went in uh, with the heavy equipment and were tearing gas going in, you didn't know that he was beneath the home at the time. Can you talk a little bit? I know you were concerned about the safety of the officers. Was there a fear that he was kind of lying there somewhere and wait for those officers? We believed that he was in the home, and as a precaution, we uh, used the equipment to make the entry um, and search the home. And you believe the murder took place here on the property? I, I don't have the, any information on where the murder occurred, but we do believe that the bodies are here on the property. So backtrack just a little bit. He was, he was he was underneath the home on his property and we located him during the search and negotiated with him to exit. Was he in the process of doing something in particular while he was under? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not going to comment on exactly what it, what it, what it is. To be clear, you don't know where the bodies are. You're going to be conducting a search today. We are, we are conducting a search using cadaver dogs and search teams. We believe the bodies are on his property, but we, we haven't confirmed that. Has he led you to believe that? Has he provided information stating that their bodies are there? We have information to lead us to believe that the bodies are there on the site. Was that from the visual, visual search from the chopper, or? Uh, I can't comment on what that information is or where it came from. How shocking is this to you? Uh, well, you know, my personal opinion doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But it's certainly, know? certainly it's shocking to, I think, to any, any average person. Yeah, the community was clearly distraught over this. And, um, we we understand that, and we're trying to respect that that feeling. Do we know how long he lived on the property? I don't know. Okay. Providing more updates for us. If there are more updates to provide, I'll, I will do that. I'll come out probably in a couple of hours and at least say nothing more or if there is something then I'll give that to you then. Can yes ma'am. Do you have somebody speak Spanish? I, I don't. Um, I can see if there's a Spanish speaker but I don't I don't speak Spanish. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And that was a live update there from the city of Redlands this morning. So this was a nudist ranch in Colton, California, uh, Sparks apparently had an underground bunker. Now, we watched it all unfold on JLR Investigates when they were tearing up his home. He's a next-door neighbor. Why did a next-door neighbor murder a elderly couple? She, uh, Stephanie Menard, 73 years old. Daniel Menard, 79. They also have a dog named Cuddles. Now, one of the reporters asked, where's Cuddles? And the PIO there, that was the sheriff's office, the PIO, uh, didn't know where Cuddles is. Um, but believes the couple, believes the couple right here are on uh, the property of Mr. Sparks, next door neighbor. What was this over? A dispute? Um, did the neighbors not get along with one another? Uh, we've been covering this case and actually speaking to residents in that 
community there, that uh, Nudist Ranch community, and they informed us that the Menards were nice, quiet people, got along with everyone. Though, the Menards, in June of this year, filed a lawsuit against the establishment there, the uh, the ranch. So, uh, was that part of uh, this motive here for Mr. Sparks here, uh, who allegedly confessed to um, to people prior that he committed the murders? Um, that's what the, that's what some of the reports are saying. Um, unclear if he actually confessed when he was interrogated, but maybe that's the motive. Maybe the motive uh, is something to do with the lawsuits or whatnot, or maybe um, Mr. Sparks here just wanted to rob the couple. Um, or owing money, or, or doing some dirty deeds on behalf of someone else. We don't know yet, but we are covering this case on JLR Investigates. Check out my prior videos. You'll see as the SWAT battery ram was tearing this guy's house apart, um, I guess they negotiated with him, and the neighbors were saying that the dude was like one of those doomsday dudes that thought, uh, you know, the world was coming to the end and built some underground tunnel bunker that went into the mountain. Uh, but it's good that he's in custody. Hopefully we get more information about this case. Um, if mug shots come out on this guy, I'll share with all of you affidavit of probable cause and we'll follow this case through its entirety. Hopefully the Menards are found on his property so they can get a proper burial. Uh, we are covering this case extensively. I am JLR Investigate. Subscribe to the channel, like, hit the notification button. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.